Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to my channel, Daniel's Life. Um, today I am doing a review on this camera I got today, and uh, it's just a lens, but I'm really backed away f like from my camera. It has really cool features. It's made by Sony, and the model name is the Sony NEX 5R. It has interchangeable lenses, flip-up screen. Um, you could flip the screen so you could take shots, um, from your waist. And, um, yeah, this is a pretty cool, uh, camera. Also, thank you guys for getting me to 110 subscribers. It's really helped me out a lot during this pandemic time. It's made me feel better about myself. And, um, I checked and, uh, 90. 97% of you guys are not subscribed yet so if you really like my videos uh, make sure to subscribe with the uh, notification bell so you're notified when all my videos come out and for the people who have subscribed and who are about who are gonna subscribe uh, the notification bell hasn't been working that well because when I started live streams or new videos have come out some of you guys haven't gotten the notification yet so sorry about that uh, that's out of my control uh, you could put complaints about that on the YouTube, um, I don't, just send complaints to Google or something, and, um, yeah, like this video if you, um, if you really like this video, uh, please, uh, make sure to hit that like button, like button, and, um, and if we get a 15 likes, I'll show you guys how to make the intro that I'm gonna play right now, and I actually, um, I'm going to play the one that you guys really like, and then in, if you guys give me to 15 likes, I'll, I made one already. It's not, I didn't really make it, but I'll actually show you if you guys give me to 15 likes. Let's go to the intro. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay Okay, now that we're back from the intro, I'm going to talk about my Sony NEX 5R. So, I the reason I picked up this camera was because I watched a review from Fox Tail Whips. I think that's his name. And he does really cool reviews. If you don't want to get this camera, want to get uh, the other Sony NEX cameras from the other um, the other ones, like the NEX 5N, 5, or 3N. Um, and there's many more after this one. Uh, so if you want to look at that, I'll leave his, uh, channel link with, uh, the NAX 5, uh, N review. Cause that's his most popular, I think. And, um, the way that I have like, kind of like a blurred out background behind me is because I'm using my Konica hexagon AR mount 50 millimeter 1.7 lens because these, um, Sony NEX cameras aren't full frame cameras. I forgot what the other term is. Uh, is more zoomed in, so that's why I had to back up more. So it's good for like portrait photography and um, taking pictures of people. And I've actually shot some pictures of my dog, some flowers uh, for macro shots, and then some street photography. I'll put it up right here. And those were really cool. Um, it was. It does really good in low light, but it depends how the low light is sometimes. And uh, also it depends on what kind of lens. Because my lens could go down to 1.7 aperture, which means that I could get a very blurred out background. Or more of uh, more light entering the lens itself into the camera, which I really like. And right now, I'm using like a little desk lamp as my uh, light to illuminate my face. If I turn that off... I only have my windows, and because it's like 6 p.m. right now, the sun is currently, it was, in the morning, it was over here, so I got perfect light, but right now, I don't know what direction that is, but it's over there, because it's setting already, and yesterday, it rained, and I took uh, some cool pictures, and uh, because the clouds were orange, and then there's still water, it kind of looked very cool cinematic but i couldn't take any videos because i didn't feel like i should take any sorry to cut out there i had to fix my focus so there's one downside of getting the lens that i got there's many big um how do i say this 
many good things about it. One thing is that it's a vintage lens from the 70s and 80s, so you could pick this up on eBay like I did for very cheap, like dummy cheap. I mean, I got this lens for $39 with free shipping, and with taxes, it was around $45, the uh, camera body. I only got the body, and then it came with a um, battery, and that only cost me $100, and... It usually goes for a hundred and one fifty bucks, give or take, but um, most likely you'll get it for around the price that I got it, and I got lucky because nobody actually bid on that one except for me. Um, so with all the accessories, because I also had to buy the charger, uh, I had to buy the lens and an adapter for the lens, because you do need an adapter because the vintage lens, it came out to around a hundred and. $160, $150 around that price. But for a camera like this, so you can change lenses and then you keep the lenses to upgrade Sony cameras, which I'm planning to do later in the future if I get more into photography or videography. Um, it is a really good starting camera. Um, what I use for my starting camera that I record my gaming keyboard video, if you haven't watched that, it's up here in the top right corner, is my Canon. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. My Canon uh, Elf 300HS, which I really liked, and it took very good video. It did, I think, up to 60 frames per second in 1080p, but because it's a point-and-shoot, the sensor isn't really that good, so I didn't get high-definition video like this with the background. Also, it's a fixed screen and doesn't have a flip-out screen like this one, and right now I'm looking at myself, and I can see the lighting. Oh, my black... My back now, um... Things, but this thing was really good, especially the microphone. So, uh, I'm gonna talk about the downsides now of this camera. One of the biggest downsides is actually the um, the audio on it, which uh, it's not the best, and especially if you're kind of loud and muffles a little bit. I don't know if it's just my camera or it's like the whole line of the NEX 5R. But mine, every time I hear the audio on it, it's very muffly and very bad. I don't know why, maybe. It sounds distorted. And if you want to hear, this is how it sounds without using the my my, my Fi Fi microphone that I have right here that I'm recording to Audacity. But this is the um, raw audio, unedited, unedited from the Sony camera. And as you can see, it's not really that good. But with my Fifi, okay, now we're back on my Fifi microphone. It's much better, and I kind of like this. I might get, if I start, like, vlogging or get a lens so I can start, like, getting close-up shots. Not close-up shots, but more wide-angle so I could kind of vlog with it. I might get a lavalier mic so I can attach it to my phone and record like that because I don't really like this mic. But, I mean, if you don't have anything else and you're not taking, if you don't really care about that much about the audio, it'd be... It's pretty good, but um, those are my only downsides to it, the audio, and another one is that um, this is not like wrong with the camera or the lens, it's just that sometimes I wish I had it, but because I haven't bought any more lenses except for my Konica hexagon lens, I'm, I'm planning to buy more lens, but when I get more into photography and I, I start getting paid, if, like, um, I get into business or something, I'm going to buy a uh, wide-angle uh, Sony lens with autofocus so I don't have to manually focus stuff. I kind of like the the manual focus because sometimes I can manually focus onto one thing that I want to do. But sometimes I just wanted to focus on one subject and sometimes I just, have to, I, I just get tired of moving the lens a little bit. And also get... A lens that's especially for this camera, not a full frame camera, so I could actually, um, uh, what's it called? So it's not zoomed in that much. So because the, the, my lens that I'm using right now is a 50 millimeter for full frame, it's actually a 75 millimeter, uh, I think, to if you attach a 75 millimeter to like that's designed for the actual type of camera that I'm using right now. And it's kind of zoomed in a lot. Um, I'm kind of like an arm length and a half away from it right now. 
and you could kind of see my neck and my facial area. I actually backed up a lot so you guys could see my hair and um, my my full face because if I got closer, you could only see this part of my face and then it would be a little bit blurred out. But if I back up, it looks perfect and I think this is a good part of it. Also, another bad, I don't know if it's bad, but if you try to stream with this camera or try to connect it to your PC to record an OBS or something or for Zoom meetings or Google meet meetings for school or work, uh, this camera is going to give you some trouble because of the HDMI output. The bad thing about this HDMI output is that um, it captures everything on the screen. And I mean, everything on it, like what, how much your battery is or your aperture or your shutter speed. And I don't think that would be pretty good for um, having it on your computer. But one thing around, I haven't tried it yet, but I've seen videos of people doing it. And you have to uh, crop in stuff, but the, the stuff, the I mean, the camera still looks kind of bad. So I wouldn't recommend this for a webcam unless you're recording separately, then I would recommend this. But if you're just connecting it straight into your computer and using it for streaming, I do not recommend that. Also, right now, I'm uh, using a Gorilla tripod to hold on my camera. And with the lens, because it's a 70s, 80s lens, it's more heavier and it's made out of, uh, it's the whole thing is made out of metal. So it's putting a lot of weight on the camera and I have to lean it against my wall right now. But, um, I mean, that's what the, the camera body is pretty um, light by itself and with a plastic or carbon fiber i don't know if they have carbon fiber lenses but with a plastic and um metal body lens you could have a lighter camera uh also i recommend getting a tripod that's what i'm gonna do um i'll leave a link down below for a tripod that i've seen good reviews about and it looks pretty good i'm gonna try to buy it and do a review on it um I'm going to try to do a review on it because I've seen you guys really like my reviews that I do, especially my keyboard one. And thank you guys for getting me to, like, I think 9,000 views on that. Hello, everybody. Sorry, um, this post-production, Daniel. Uh, sorry I had to cut the video short. Um, this vi I filmed this video, like, about two or three weeks ago. I had a lot of stuff going on, and I'm barely finishing editing it right now. Uh, I... It, my video lasted around 20 minutes, so I cut it down pretty short, and I have my laptop right here that I'm editing with, and I have it to around, how much, 12 minutes and 31 seconds, so I cut a lot of the video out. Also, I forgot to put these B-roll shots in, and um, I'm trying to do more B-roll shots, and I'm also going to try to use this camera. I use my parents' uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 because my other, my Elf 300 HS, HS um, my my pocket camera, that's what I call it, um, isn't good for B-roll shots. And also my iPhone isn't that good, and I want to take B-roll shots of this. And it's kind of weird because I don't have any other cameras, so I'm going to use my dad's uh, S20, which has... A very good resolution and I'm gonna send that to my laptop and uh, edit that so thank you guys for watching the video um, it's really meant a lot to me that you guys have taken the time to watch my keyboard review and gotten me to 114 subscribers and um, if you guys any if you guys have any suggestions for any more um, for any more videos that I should do, leave it down below in the comment section. I read the comments, and I love your comments that you guys leave that saying that I'm cool. Nobody has ever said that to me, to be honest. And, um, yeah, have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed these B-roll shots.